I came back to see on how many hours I've played this. I've been playing it for 16 hours, 13 minutes, and 32 seconds. Wow. <laughs> Uh, it's a very good Metroidvania, but it, uh, some stuff gets me frustrated. N it's typical stuff, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. I enjoy the game. I really do. So now I can actually backtrack in a lot of areas. I can actually get my bearings at least calculated properly and select the, the correct deal. So I want to... After dodging, they grabs hold of you and charges forward, allowing a burst of momentum. Well, I thought that was Julius. It was not. But that's okay. Ah! to that. Oh, damn, Gittery! What? Ah, oh, oh, Gittery, damn it! Oh, wow, that was devastating. Oh, damn it, that's right, I can't. Super Lily! <laughs> oh, wait, right here. I can definitely backtrack. Like a lot. So, where can I exactly go? You know what, let's go all the way up here, okay. Yeah, there's this spot right here. Can I actually do that in the water? Nope, I cannot. What is it, Shinoa? Hmm. Let's see here. Tech 
button. There we go. Faden's letter. I found an interesting fragment from my stone tablet. It seems to be engraved with an ancient spell. If I can repair and decipher the tablet, I may be able to call upon its magic. I must note that casting an unknown spell may lead to irreversible consequences. I don't think I should inform the king of this, at least not until all the fragments are recovered. Thus, I think it's best to leave it in your care. It's not safe here, and the other mages may catch a wind of it. I'm in touch should I learn anything un anything new. Huh, okay. Okay, so that is a landing. Hello, what's this? Stone tablet fragment. The engraving can be deciphered upon collecting all seven fragments. Fragment of a stone tablet engraved with an ancient spell conjured once spoken. Assembling all the fragments will require a certain magical rite. Hmm. Almost feels like I'm starting to go end game. Okay, so that one's done. I can't remember, <coughs> excuse me, if I can get to that one or not. Um, there's a few other segments, too. Of course, that one clear over there, I cannot. Oh, I almost got it in one shot. Can he attack underwater? No, he is not capable of attacking underwater. There's also something in here that I've yet to fully explore. Well, it didn't really quite mean to go ouch down. Okay. I get uh excuse me, Gatorade, thank you. Um, what the hell? Is my controller dying? No. Gatorade, I'm just being an idiot, I guess. Oh. 
Well... I think that's that spot right there I can, I can kind of go to. I can't remember. I'll get it, right? Ah, damn it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I really should try to go down and see on what's there. Don't know why I didn't uh, go the other way, but you know what? Whatever. A little bit of a road trip won't hurt. Damn. Well, that sucks. Unless there's a lever around here, but I doubt it. Maybe a lever someplace question mark? Damn it, get it. Yeah, I don't I didn't see no lever. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I just don't know, in honesty. I did not want to do that. I did not want to use my Gatorade.
Unless there's a hidden uh, spot around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Spot looked a little funny at first. So what's down here? Huh, okay. One of our rings made it out here. Ancient soul times two. Damn. Use and enhance the Umbral Knight. Powerful residue shed from an ancient people unlike those of the kingdom. Allows the, for the Umbral Knight's skills to be enhanced at respites. Amazing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Huh. Well. Definitely want to save. Wow. He's level four. Simply amazing. So, I wonder if I could go down there. There's quite a few places I could really, you know, try to go to, at least. Yeah. Of course, I obviously want to save. Oh, okay. It's an interesting... place.
so what's Uh, nothing really right here, I guess. Oh, I think I know. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> Greatly reduces damage sustained while in blooded fog and while in or on water. A mask worn by sorcerers entering the Verbatim Domain provides protection against the poisonous miasma therein. I got it! I just got the deal! See what that looks like slightly oh that that's nothing so I got the mask oh yeah greatly reduces wow that's like a it's like a breath of fresh air god, 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 god damn it god damn it but I'm not done here. Oh, looks like right there's a room. So, am I actually just about ready to go downwards? Am I actually about ready to go down into this subterranean area? Hmm. Wow, I think this is it. Gatorade. Damn, Julius. Wow, I think I really am... Whoops! Oh, that was an epic dodge! Oh my god! <laughs> that was not an epic dodge. That was an epic fail. Uh Well, I'm making progress. I wonder Just 
go right through the front door. Yeah, just do the front door. Hey ya! Whoops. Um, god damn it, what the hell? Don't I have the relic on? Yeah? <sighs> okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I was just getting attacked like an idiot. That that was my issue. But yeah, it's a uh... Yeah, get ready. Whoops, get right. All right, Yahoo, get right. That's real nice. Get her in! E! Ah, damn it. Well, it's getting a little rough. Hello? Fadden's Archives 4. Coming into contact with the blighted white priestess does not seem to have spread the affliction. Thus, I have collected a sample of blooded flesh from the specimens for study. Outward appearance is not all that differs from when compared to standard blood, uh, blood of flesh. More shockingly, rather than a controlled spread, their bodies all but suppress the mes metastasis, uh, the blight, and its effects on the mind. It's unlike, it's unlike any case of the prior blight of witness prior. If this discovery can return conscious, though, to the afflicted, perhaps I can bring Mario back to herself? If I can actually read the damn thing properly. So, the Blighted Priestess. Is that going to be a boss fight down here? I kind of wonder if that's how I'm going to access those doors. I just kind of wonder... You know, this place almost feels like Made in Abyss. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> 